girls, it's Maggie from Fit Muscle and Joint Clinic and this is Becca. We're gonna introduce some core stability today um, and give you a little variation with it. So Becca, we'll get you on your hands and your knees. Okay, so we want uh, flat hands straight underneath our um, shoulders here and our knees underneath our hips. We want a nice flat back here, okay? We don't wanna round it or let it sag, okay? Yep, there we go. So now what I'm gonna have you do is you are gonna come up onto your toes here, just a few inches off the ground. And I want you to hold that. So you really um, kind of brace through your core here and push your belly out, okay? And we're gonna hold that for 15 to 20 seconds. Um, go ahead and relax here. So another variation of that um, to make it a little bit harder is we're gonna come up and do the same thing. Good, really brace, keep this nice and flat. So now I'm gonna have Becca lift up her left leg, hold for five seconds and relax down. And then we're gonna lift the right leg. Good, so we don't want this to sag. Okay, good, and down, go ahead, relax. So hold it for five seconds and do it about five times. So this is the dead bug. So what we want, yes, legs and arms straight up. We wanna keep that back nice and flat onto the ground. I want you to think about bracing your belly and pushing your belly out again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna brace and I want you to drop your opposite arm and opposite leg. Good, and back up. And then we're gonna go the other way, good. So um, what I want you to really work on is keeping that back nice and flat on the ground. Don't let it come up, okay? All right, so now to make this a little bit harder, um, we're gonna do the same thing and come up, arms and legs. Okay, now we're just going to drop both legs together, good, and back up. And now we're just gonna do the arms and back up. Good, go again for me. Good, and arms. So with this, um, again, we wanna keep that back nice and flat. To make it a little bit harder for Becca here, we're gonna give her a medicine ball. So you can take any weight or anything and hold it in your hands, okay? So come up. So again, we're just gonna let the arms go down while holding this here, good. And back up, and then go down with the arms. Good, and back up. Good, one more. Awesome, good job. Give that a try and let us know how it goes. Hey guys, this is Glenn from Home Field. I have Maggie here with FIT. We're gonna go through actually how to activate that core just a little more now, now that you've learned how to keep it firing. We're gonna ramp it up, ramp it up a little bit, okay? So we're gonna start off with what we call an oblique crunch, all right? So she's gonna lay on her right hip, basically, okay? She's gonna have her right arm perpendicular out away from her body, legs stay straight, left arm overhead, and then she's gonna bring those legs and left arm all up together, bringing that shoulder up off the mat every time, right? Really firing that oblique on the left side, okay? Nice and easy here. Try to keep that arm as straight as you can and try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Great job, Maggie, perfect. Okay, so you got that particular exercise. We're gonna do four sets of that. Okay, you got 15 reps on the right and then 15 reps on the left. Okay, you'll do the right side. You go immediately into the left side. Take a one minute break and then continue. Next, we got leg lifts. Cause this is gonna be more of a time under tension exercise here. So what I want you to do is we're gonna do two different variations here to where she's got her palms flat on the floor. Okay, legs are straight out and she's just gonna lift the legs up. Okay, one second count up and then nice and slow back down. Feet never touch the floor here, boom. Right, nice and slow back down. Give me one more like that, Maggie. Three, two, one, nice and slow back down, perfect. All right, so that exercise, right, we're gonna do four sets again 15 reps if you have a little bit of a lower back issue maggie's going to place her hands directly under her hips here okay and what she wants to do is same thing lift the hips and you go right into the same exercise that'll take some pressure off your lower back okay again same thing four sets 15 reps perfect all right so we're going to do what we call now a frogger crunch okay this is a little more difficult we also have two different variations of this also First variation will be your hands behind your head, keeping your chest up, okay? Notice how Maggie's gonna have this dip in her back here. She's not gonna hump her back this way. Not, we're not gonna do that at all. She's gonna lift her hips, okay, lift her chest, and then just bring her knees straight up to her shoulders or to her chest. There we go, good, now bring them up. Good, so again, this one's a little more difficult, a little more challenging. And so until you get to this point, what we can do is, go ahead and stop Maggie. 
She's gonna put her hands back behind her now, give herself a little bit more support. Go ahead and lean back a little more. And then we'll do the same exercise. Knees straight out and all the way back up. So again, second variation of that, right? We got one that's gonna be a little tougher, obviously. You can start here and then work your way up to that. This exercise, we're gonna do a few more repetitions on this one, right? So you wanna build up to the momentum of at least to get into 20 repetitions, but you've only got three sets. Okay, last one, we're gonna do some rotations with the obliques, legs will be straight up in the air. Okay, again, she's gonna keep her arms out, flat hands, palms face down away from her body, okay? And she's gonna drop those legs all the way over to the right side, keeping them as straight as she can. Nice, good rotation. Engage that core all the way through and then all the way over to the left side. So from right to left is gonna be one rep. You wanna try and give me 12 good solid reps here. Okay, all the way right to left. Nice job, Maggie. She can let those legs down now. And you got four sets. Those four different exercises should really, really engage that core, keep it firing, give you a lot more core strength and stability. Thanks guys.